guys, it's way back with another review for y'all. And today I have JB's Ghost Lab of the Lego Hidden Side themes at ages seven and up. Set number 70418. It brings 174 pieces. And this is one of them that I got on my Lego Target run. Um, very exciting. I haven't gotten a Lego Hidden Side set since like my second review on my channel. Um, you got a little bit of uh, features that go into it also the free interactive app that you can use I don't really use it I haven't been able to get the chance to but it just shows you a few features right here uh, let me bring that in uh, just a few features right here you can also see just how many of them that you can do when you get the set um, it shows a secret uh, boss uh, you also got a few of the shows you the minifigures right there let's back up um, shows you just a little bit of other other settings that you can do um, Here's gonna be the side of the box right there for y'all. And then here's gonna be the bottom of it. Yeah, and then here's gonna be the right side, which I really can't read that. You're not Puerto Rican. Yeah. Um That's basically it. <laughs> oh, my bad. Top part where it explains everybody that comes with it and the secret boss that actually comes with it when you actually in download the app. So yeah. Um I will start unboxing it and I will be right back with the whole review. All right, and I am back. Um, <clears throat> literally, it was just a second for y'all, basically. Um, for me, it took me quite a bit of while because I didn't recognize that even though it's 174 pieces, it has quite a few small pieces, like a lot more than I expected. Um, you got quite a few uh, extra pieces right here. Um, and then obviously here's the instruction booklet. I really don't show the instruction booklet in my reviews. Um, I really don't see the point. I mean, it's literally the exact same instruction booklet for every single set, basically. It doesn't really change. Only thing that I see that change is that they're really advertising here, the app. Um, so, I mean, I guess that's basically the only difference. Um, and you can see here uh, his extra face which is right here. I just put his normal face on. So this right here is Dr. Uh, Mr. Elton. If I could get a close up, there he is. Cool, yeah. Um, he has a double-sided face, obviously uh, print on his chest, belt, and legs. Very simple, like I said. I always say that a little goes a long way when it comes to many figures. Um, he has I guess you could call back the uh detailing just a little bit of two lines just to represent that he's actually wearing a jacket. Um you got his face right there, and you got his double sided right here with that nice good smirk of a smile. Um but yeah, that's him right there for you. And then we have right here JB and in all her glory and Actually, she has more printing than I actually did not expect. Um, that's it right there with a little name tag um, her in her little jacket. Uh, she also does come with, obviously, the phone. There you go. Cool. Um, but, yeah, I like that those uh, those plates are actually printed. It would be a pain in the butt to actually put a, a sticker on them. That's one of her faces, and then she actually comes with a second face. I guess that's more of an actor, the explosion or something happens and during, when you're playing that you can use that face. I actually like this hair piece a lot. I will use it in one of my stop motions. Um, but yeah. Oh, that's her back to the tailing too. Sorry. Uh, I completely forgot to show that. But yeah, that was JB. And then here we have Jack. Jack tends to come in. He's the exact same always in every single set that I've seen. Um, I think he's only been different maybe one set, but his he's always the exact same. Um, I just wish they would do something a little bit different. I mean, obviously, he's pretty cool, so I'd like to have... I have two of him, actually. Um, but, yeah, like I said, same thing with the printed piece play right there. Um, you also get Spencer, a little ghost dog right here. The cutest little thing, if you could like, zoom in. There you go. Cute. I love having him. You can definitely get as many as you want from him, and you cannot get sick of it. So let me try to move all these pieces out of the way. Um, this is also the head right here. I forgot to show you that. Um, but let me pop that off, pop that off, and pop his head on right there. 
goes on pretty simple. And then if you twist that around, whoa, whoa. Okay, then. There you go, sorry. And then you twist that around, you got a little bit of detailing in the back. Since it's a translucent green, it actually fits well to this kind of theme. I remember Monster Fighters, for all you uh, actual Lego fans that remember that set. I mean, actually, not even set, just theme itself. Um, I really loved those sets. It was really awesome. I used to have Scooby-Doo sets, too. But enough to talk about those. I just really thought it was pretty cool that they're bringing back this kind of theme. Um, but yeah, um, not that complicated of a build like i said has quite a few like small pieces uh definitely every set that comes with the lego hidden side theme has this little spinnable color changing wheel here for when you have the free app obviously this has been advertising so much um it actually applies to when you're playing the game um it has a lot of stickers it has about seven stickers and they are almost all tiny um big one is that one but that's about it this is a sticker right here um Got the 3D printer. You also got like a 3D printed here sticker too. Um, if you can, you can actually open that, which this pizza plate right here is actually printed. So I'm actually very happy about that. You just open that up and got a little, I guess you could call it like a print, a 3D printer gun. Um, it's just a one by one plate with a stud on top. Um, like I said, quite a few, like the detailing on this is pretty good. I Whoa, sorry, expecting much of it. Um, these are stickers right here. This is a sticker right here. This is actual printed piece. Um, these arrows right here are all stickered up here. Also, that meter is a sticker. Um, that keyboard is actually printed, which I like. Um, but yeah, it's a, overall, even though it's a small play set, I really enjoy it. I, this is like my second Lego Hidden Side set, and I'm planning on getting another one to the review for y'all and to add to my collection. So yeah, definitely. And then here you go with the, this is an, another sticker, but that's that right there, I guess is like an X-ray of actual, of the brain, um, a few notes here and there. Um, but yeah, there, there really isn't too much to say about the set. I think, like I said, an overall good set for 174 pieces, I think it's really worth it because you get three minifigures plus Spencer, which if you count him, he's four. Um, oh, sorry. Over there. <laughs> Not reviewing that over there. Um, but yeah, overall set, very good. I, to be honest, Lego Hidden Side has always been a great theme to me. Same thing with Monster Fighters back in the day. It really reminds me of that back. Um, they, I, I really wish that they wouldn't really go too and too much of the app. I really wish that they would just focus more on the actual set and the builds. That we're going to get more detailing and more bigger builds than what we already have. Um, but like I said, if they want to keep with the hidden side theme and just keep on with the app, that's on them. That's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, like I said, overall great set. Out of 10, I would give it an 8. Um, even though it's a small build, I think it's a great thing. I just wish there was more pieces to the price that you're actually paying. I believe it was like $15.99 or $20. Bucks. Definitely wish it was more pieces as far as the build. Um, but yeah, this was Sway back with another review. Uh, remember to smash that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification, also comment down below, also check out for that Patreon that I actually have, that I created, um, I love all the support, if you can't support me on my Patreon, definitely support me on my channel like you guys have already been doing, you guys are amazing, I love every single one of you and your support is amazing, and I will see y'all in the next video.